Hey, what's going on, everybody? I'm Amanda Dell, aka Green Grow Guy, and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to plant sweet potatoes. Okay? Um, real quick, some information about sweet potatoes. Like, you know, I gotta get technical with you. Give you some information. Um, sweet potatoes are high in fiber and antioxidant, uh, so that means that it gives you great digestive and brain function. It you know it helps you improve those things. Um, sweet potatoes also are filled with beta carotene. Um, which converts into vitamin A, which supports healthy immune systems and, of course, vision. Um, sweet potatoes actually are also packed with potassium. Um, they act, one sweet potato has more potassium than an actual banana, which is something that people actually use as a great, you know, um, edible uh, way to consume potassium. Why um, so are they called sweet potatoes? Part they call sweet potatoes. I see now she's asking me things I don't know. You know, I say I don't know these things. You know what I mean? But I can find out. So that was a good question. I'ma just treat it like a comment. I'ma treat it like a comment. You know what I mean? And uh, I'ma get back to you on why are they called sweet potatoes? Um, possibly because they're a super starchy vegetable. So I'm gonna lead in that direction. Um, because they are just that they do have just a natural sweetness compared to our traditional white or red potato. Um, but today we're going to teach you guys how to plant this. Now, when we plant other potatoes, okay, um, we just actually let the, the potato form something called eyes, and then we plant the entire potato in the ground. We don't do sweet potatoes like that, okay? Now, you know, now I'm going to say this. We're going to have to do these sweet This is urban farming. So you know we're going to do the sweet potato game right. So what we got to do right here to get our sweet potatoes, okay, is, and this is something that my, a process that my wife actually helped out on. So she's going to be chiming Yay. in. You know what I mean? And actually, babe, do a little, tell them a little bit about your experiment uh, and what the results of the experiment was. All right, so I did an experiment of two different ways to get stalks for a sweet potato. One was put a sweet potato in dirt and water it, and the other one was sit a sweet potato in um, water and watch it root. Um, I did both. The sweet potato and the water rotted out. Even though I switched the water out frequently, that rotted but the one in dirt, like, it started sprouting the stalks and everything, as you all can see it's as like I zoom like in a, and uh, everything. Vampire. And it's, like, more growing and everything. And they grew pretty quick. So, yeah. I think that's a method I'm going to try again. But with other things that I've soaked in water and everything, those roots have grown. Like, I can't wait till we do our garlic series for y'all to see how that came out. But, right. yeah, go ahead. This actually, and... And we actually had a debate which one was going to grow. I actually said this one was going to do do really good um, compared to sitting in water. And when you guys watch a lot of videos, you'll see a lot of videos that do take use that me method or technique. Um, and I'm not saying that it doesn't work. It just didn't work for us. This worked for us. Um, it did take about two months for it to happen, though. Um, it took a really long time for it to happen. Um, so, but it worked. So today, I'm going to show you what the next step is. Now, there's two ways that you can handle this from what we watched. And I, we, I want to tell you, this is the first time that we're actually planting sweet potatoes. So there was two methods uh, with planting these sweet potatoes uh, that we found. Um, this method that I'm going to do is actually just cutting the slip directly off of the sweet potato and planting it in the dirt. Um, from research, only thing that it said that would differ between the other option, which was taking the sweet potato, sitting it in water, um, and letting some roots spread out the bottom and then planting it, um, was that the time span of um, growth will be like maybe about 10, 15 days and different. Um, for me, that's not a big deal because I, even though I'm planting this outside in front of you guys, this is gonna be something that goes into the fall indoor garden that you will see later on in some videos, all right? So I'm gonna stop talking a whole bunch because you know I want to get this, this get this down. I want to tell you guys this is gonna take a while for these to grow. About 120 days expect expect it to grow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it. Right, don't cut yourself like I almost just did right there. I might have a little bit, <laughs> but if you do, you know, urban farming, urban farming, right I here. I was gonna tell you, you had scissors. <laughs> right, right. Well, you know. 
A, A. Now what I am going to do here is I am going to get rid of these little slips right here. Now these little slips I'm going to put in water. I know my wife is about to say that right now. I was just about so to I'm, say, I'm don't throw them away. I can soak water, them. And I'm going to see if they get some roots on them. And we'll keep track on these and show you the progress of these. Mm -hmm. I don't know exactly how this process works. You know what I'm saying? So we're actually all going to find out together. But what I'm going to do is make a little hole for this. Not too deep. All right. What I want you guys to know, this is how I prep this soil. All right. First of all, this is already fertilized soil. Um, it, it's, it's, it's reused soil, so it's pretty good. Um, I broke it up with my hands, um, because that's how potatoes like to be planted, and I kind of just stuck it in about a half an inch, and I'm just going to pack it in here so it sits good. Move the dirt around it. Now, just like regular potatoes, guys, sweet potatoes are just as thirsty, all right? They need adequate sun. They don't need extreme temperatures to grow. This could be a fall harvest. This is a late plant, so I don't expect to see these actually towards the, till the end of the year. Okay. Um, typically, you want to plant this maybe in July. You know what I mean to harvest around Thanksgiving time, and that you know that's when you like these sweet potatoes. I like to eat them all year round, uh, honestly. Um, but this is a great holiday vegetable, so definitely during the winter months, uh, we're going to have the opportunity to grow some sweet potatoes. Um, I expect this 10 gallon bucket, because there's only 10 gallons, um, I expect it to yield um, a substantial amount of sweet potatoes. Um, the only thing left to do at this point, guys, is to actually water it in here. And don't be shy with this one, okay? Do not be shy with potatoes. Potatoes are thirsty. They like to eat, and they like a good fertilizer regimen. You know what I mean? The fertilizer uh, that I use, I'm, I'm really basic, guys. I use miracle Grow. Like, you know what I'm saying? I use the mix for the potatoes. I can fertilize these um, every two weeks if I decide to. Okay? And when you're watering it, try to water it with something even, like this, so that you're able to distribute the water evenly because you want to generate a root system for this because you didn't. So that's why watering is heavy right now is important. It's a breathable cloth. It will drain. Once this drains, I'm gonna give it about I'm gonna give it a few hours. I'll actually probably let it stay out for a day, for the day, not a day, for the day, a few hours, absorb some sunlight, um, then I'll bring it indoors. Alright. Um, the very last and final thing I'm gonna do is first move these slips. With the remainder of the potato as you can see there's other slips going out um, I'm gonna actually just grab some topsoil that I have sitting over here on the side I'm gonna fill this up a little bit more it helps to promote you know a stronger root system that's going in there to shoot these shoots up so they could get planted like this one did and then I'm also going to fertilize it right now with the remaining fluid okay you want to put some more dirt no it should be good Okay. Pop some water this up. All right, and there you have it. What we're going to do is we're going to keep an eye on both of these things and show you how they grow. My name is Amenadale, a.k.a. Green Grow Guy. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.